Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have a nice and interesting functional equations of f of x equals x squared minus 8x plus 20 and a composite function f of f of x equals 85. What is x? I will be solving this question in two different ways. And how do you solve this? You can pause this video and give it a try. Let's get started. Let's consider the solution. And here is the first method. So from the function f of x, which is equals x squared minus 8x plus 20. And if I break this down into f of x equals x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus 4. So 16 plus 4, it gives us 20. And then we have f of x equals x squared minus 8x plus 16. This gives us x minus 4, then raised to power 2. When we expand x minus 4 raised to power 2, it gives us x squared minus 8x plus 16. Then here is plus 4. This is the result of f of f of x. And let's say we introduce the composite function f of x to this as well. So that is anywhere we see x, it becomes all of this x minus 4 squared plus 4. So this is what I'm saying. Let's say we have f of f of x, but f of x is f of f of x it will be equals the f of x itself is x minus 4 squared plus 4 then we are going to have this as f of x minus 4 raised to power 2 plus 4 and everything here will be equals 85 but we should not forget that this x itself is an input to another function all these x minus 4 raised to power 2 plus 4 so if i replace every single x here with the whole of this then we are going to have x minus 4 raised to power of 2 then plus 4 this is for only this x then minus 4 in the bracket all raised to power of this squared then plus 4 outside everything equals 85 so if plus 4 and minus 4 cancel each other, then we are going to have x minus 4 raised to power 2, then all raised to power 2 as well, equals 85 minus 4. When we transfer 4 to the other side. So from this, we have 2 times 2, that is 4. And it gives us x minus 4 raised to power 4 equals 85 minus 4, that is 81. And in the next step, we have to transfer this 81 to this side. And we write x minus 4 raised to power 4 as x minus 4 raised to power 2, all raised to power 2, then minus 81. And 81 becomes as 9 raised to power 2, everything equals 0. When we consider this expression, a squared minus b squared, this equals a minus b multiply by a plus b that is difference of two squared when we try and apply the difference of two square a we are going to have so applying the difference of two squared we are going to have x minus 4 raised to power 2 minus 9 then multiply by x minus 4 raised to power 2 plus 9 equals 0 so by consider the first case here, we let x minus 4 raised to power 2 minus 9 to be equal to 0. So for the first one, we have x minus 4 raised to power 2 minus 9 equals 0. Here, let's take this plus 9 to other minus 9 to other side. As we have x minus 4 raised to power 2 equals plus 9. And by taking the square root of both sides, we have x minus 4 raised to power 2 then square root of this equals plus or minus square root of 9 and next 
we have square and square root cancelled. Here, x minus 4 equals plus or minus 3. Then, taking this minus 4 to the other side, we have x equals 4 plus or minus 3. And therefore, when we separate this, we are going to have x equals plus 4 plus 3, which equals 7. Or we still have x equals 4 minus 3, which equals 1. We have x equals 7 and x equals 1. Let's try and consider the second case of this. If we have x minus 4 squared plus 9 equals 0. For the second case, we have x minus 4 squared plus 9 equals 0. And looking at this only, if I transfer 9 to the other side, we have x minus 4 squared equals minus 9. And with this one, we have negative here. When we take the square root of both sides, we have x minus 4 equals plus or minus square root of minus 9. But here is a complex root. And the x here is a member of real number. Therefore, we are going to reject this second case. It means the only value of x are 7 and 1. Let's try and solve this in second method. And if you are just coming to this channel, please do well to hit the like and subscribe to this channel. Let's get into the second method. Let's see method 2. Suppose I let f of x only to be equals t. So therefore, anywhere we see f of f of x here we are going to replace it with f of t and everything will be equals x squared minus 8x plus 20 instead of using x we change it to t as well then we have t squared minus 8t plus 20 and this equals 85 and when i let this equals to this we are going to have t squared minus 8t plus 20 then transferring 85 to this side, we have minus 85 equals 0. From here, we have t squared minus 8t minus, so 20 minus 85, that gives us minus 65 equals 0. And then, we solve this one quadratically. So when we solve this one quadratically, we are going to have the t here, which is equals, we have this is plus 8, then plus or minus square root of 8 square, that is 64. Therefore, AC, that is 4 times 1 times minus 64, that gives us plus, we have 4 multiplied by 64, and that gives us 260. Then everything divided by 2. And uh, we have T here equals 8 plus or minus square root of 64 plus 260 that gives us 3 other than 24 and uh, divided by 2. So 324 for the square root of 324 we have it as 18 and we have t equals 8 plus or minus 18 divided by 2. So we have two values of t. So 8 plus 18 divided by 2. So this gives us 13. Or we have 8 minus 18 divided by 2, that gives us minus 5. And after considering these two cases, this the value of t, then we are going to recall from where we have f of t, f of x equals t. So from f of x equals t, we let it to the first one, and we are going to have. So for f of x equals t, we are going to have f of x itself is given as x squared minus 8x plus 20 equals 20 is 13. And here we have x squared minus 8x plus 20 minus 13 equals 0. And next, we have x squared minus 8x plus 7 equals 0. So by trying to solve this one quadratically, this is factorizable. The factors of this are x minus 1, and x minus 7 equals 0. So which shows that our x here equals 1 comma 7. 
so just as we did we got above but looking at the second case if f of x equals case 2 if f of x equals minus 5 so applying the same thing we are going to have x squared minus 8x plus 25 equals 0 this leads to a complex root and x is a member of real root we don't need to solve this so this is how to solve this problem step by step thanks for watching and see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to this channel bye bye